we're out here looking at the Taurus CT9 carbine. Uh, this carbine was uh, officially introduced uh, many months ago. This is the G2 version. It's the latest version they've come out with this, and it shoots really well. So far, it shot everything I've put in it. Uh, no malfunctions of any kind. It's a uh, blowback operated, semi-automatic. Got a heavy bolt in it. Uh, your charging handle does not reciprocate with the bolt, so that's good. And the charging handle moves to either side easily just one screw you can put it on either side for either way you want to operate it it's got a good uh, picatinny rail along the top it's made out of uh, mostly aluminum and polymer got some steel in it uh, for your heavier duty parts the sights on it comes with this good set of sights it's fully adjustable on the rear got a flip to an aperture or down to a notch for your close range stuff you can move these sights along here anywhere you want to the front or back both Moves in any way you want to to get your sight radius, just wherever you prefer it. Um, the controls on it are ambidextrous, got ambidextrous bolt release on it, ambidextrous manual safety. The uh, magazine release is right up here in the middle, so it works well equally for right or left handed. The magazine's got a steel body, polymer follower in it. The magazines, uh, this carbine came with two of them, they hold 10 shocks each. That's the only magazine available right now, or 10 round magazines for it. But they do load easily. They fire easily. It's got a 16 and a quarter inch barrel on here. Uh, and it also um, functions really well, as I said. Had no problems with it on functioning. We fired stuff from, and I'm not sure what uh, Taurus recommends on it right now. We'll find out. I fired standard pressure stuff, plus P stuff, plus P plus. No problems at all. Even shooting from the left shoulder. Not getting any spray with a bolt opening too early or anything. The... Uh, Buckstock on it is skeletonized, fixed, very comfortable, uh, gives you a good hold on it. It's got a 15 and an eighth inch um, length of pull. The trigger on this thing, let me close this bolt up. The trigger is really smooth. It's got uh, less than a quarter inch of travel on it, and it's got a light, crisp pull. It's uh, The pull on it measures under three pounds on this rifle. So it's real easy. It looks inside, looks similar to an AR trigger, but it's uh, got a lot better pull than any ARs on the market. Well, another feature I like of it, it's got this uh, textured area right here where you can hold the carbine to fire like this if you want to. A lot of people prefer that instead of holding the handguard. You can use it either way. Anyway, it's a good little carbine, weighs uh, six and a half pounds, which is uh, a weight like that on a nine millimeter just reduces the recoil to almost nothing, no matter what load you're shooting. So if you want something with a, a light recoil, very functional. It functions well with hollow points, a full metal jacket, whatever put in it. Runs really well, no problems at all. And it's available now from Taurus. Uh, I checked the distributor's website this morning. Lipsy's was showing over 20 of them in stock at this time. So they are available. It's also uh, coming out in 40 caliber. Don't know if that's available yet or not. I haven't seen any. But this 9 is uh, ready to go now. Got a 1.9 twist free floated barrel on it. Uh, accuracy seems decent so far. We're going to put it on paper. And you see just how it'll group. Forty-one. That's a little slower out of there. I don't know why. That's the way it is.
here's a gun. Y'all buy one. That was it. <laughs>